Hello, my name is Clay Mormon, and welcome to my studio tour. We are here at Generator Makerspace in the south end of Burlington, Vermont. I've been here almost three years and absolutely love this space. It's such a unique spot and filled with so many different artists, designers, makers, engineers, all intersecting and sharing ideas. I feel constantly inspired by what people are building around me and try and surround myself with new and different materials, um, even if they don't have a purpose just yet. Though I work primarily in 3D, my sketchbook is definitely home to the beginning of most of my ideas and projects. After that is endless prototypes and testing, uh, as you will see, lots of things which end up decorating my studio. My main focus throughout all my work is definitely lighting. I use LED lighting primarily as it's just so versatile. Uh, you can make these small bulbs seen in this piece or run long strips of tape light uh, down flat long profiles. It's responsive, it's color tunable, there's just there's endless possibilities. Um, and this prototype is actually the first iteration of uh, Radiant Thought at the BCA currently. This piece here is a chandelier um, that I've developed over the years. I actually use the Weber grill in the shot to get the shape, which ends up working out pretty well. I lay each piece of wood down slowly um, and build up each half of the sphere to kind of create the form. Um, and it looks so layered and textured because there's actually three different spheres that make up the entirety uh, of the whole shape and gives it the shadows that you see. The next piece is kind of a mini version of the chandelier, but using LED tape light in the center instead of the bulb. I find all the wood that I use for these pieces um, and the process of collection, drying and sorting has just become such a meditation for me and my favorite part of the process in so many ways. It feels as though some of the control is really taken out of my hands and I get to curate what I find and enhance the already existing beauty that you find in nature. Experimentation is really just so important to me um, and using materials in different ways and seeing how they interact with different types of light. Um, and this little investigation here is using the leftover fishing line from the Radiant Thought Show. Um, I was kind of unable to throw it all out at the end and have an idea of potentially turning it into a lampshade. Um, that's cast resin uh, with the, the fishing line inside of it. The next clip is an investigation into birch bark. Um, again, all of the material used is found. Um, and this was for a project called Sister Birch that I recently completed, um, which was really an investigation into emotional identity. Um, in the project, I made six illuminated birch cylinders out of the patchwork bark that you see. And no tour would be complete without a glimpse into the wood workshop where all the magic does happen. Um, the most important of all the spaces for me. Fully equipped with anything I may need. Um, band saws, chop saws, sanders of all different kinds. Um, it's really, you know, the place, a realization for me um, where all my ideas are able to kind of come to life. And yeah, that brings us to the end of the tour. Thank you for tuning in and coming along.